Okay, guys, so thanks for hopping on today. This is really, um, we kind of shifted a little bit from our normal Zoom. We were doing more of like a goal set. This time we're doing more efficiency. And I think that's what we're gonna stick with, especially for the month of January, because it is a very, very busy month. We have Zooms out the yin yang. We are all busy. And I feel like, you know, you Heather and I were talking and I feel like a lot of other promoters think that you have to give your all to this business every single waking moment. Um, and that is really far from the truth. I don't know who's on the video. Stephanie. Um, so I feel like that is so far from the truth. Um, we have so many resources out there today. We are gonna focus most on Trello. Um, if you have not downloaded the Trello app, and you are not on those boards, you really need to be because they have tons of resources, um, things that have been researched for you and they're on there already. Post ideas, interactive post ideas, um, everything that you are spending all this time on is probably already on the Trello board. Um, we have leaders in Thrive Army that are doing this all day long, adding, adding, adding. When they make a post and um, say, you know, whatever as an interactive post if it goes well it goes on the trello board go get it and use it um because if it worked well for their audience more than likely it's going to work well for yours um so the biggest thing today is going to be learning how to basically work your minute work your business in like 15 minutes um having your posts planned out having a plan for the week because um, most everyone here should know who Courtney is, and she tells us all the time that if you, um, you may come across this business on accident, but your success will not be. Um, you have to be prepared. You have to be ready to plan. Um, and if you're wanting this to be something more than, you know, your side gig, then you're going to have to plan. You're going to really have to start learning. You know, I hear all the time, well, I don't know how to work Trello. I don't know how to be on a Zoom. I don't know how to do this. I don't well, I'm not a tech savvy person whatsoever, but when my, my leader told me, hey, you need to be on Zooms because this is where information is dropped, that's what I did. So thank you guys for being on. Um, Heather had asked me to possibly share my planner with you guys. Um, and so I want to do that. I have the Erin Condren planner, um, thanks to Krista and Tracy. Tracy is the planning queen and I am learning so much good stuff from her. So if you are not on her planning Zoom at what, two o'clock on Sundays, then you need to be um, because she goes over everything and it's a lot of good information. Um, so this is what my week looks like. Um, I know a lot of people think that it's crazy, um, but this planner breaks everything down by 30 minute blocks. And I have everything planned from when I wake up, make my bed, when I'm doing laundry, when I'm doing power hours, when I'm feeding my children, when they are down for a nap, um, even down to um, what I'm posting. So like today was Mindset Monday. So of course, um, if you were on a Zoom with Tracy the other night when she did her fives list, you will never run out of things to talk about. One of my fives is the mental focus. I used to be a squirrel. Um, Mindset Monday for me is being able to focus on everything and accomplish everything that I set for myself for the day. I used to not be like that before Thrive. Um, not one time did I say Thrive in my post, but it's a transition. Um, you don't have to vomit Thrive in every single post. Um, talk about how you feel. So um, Mindset Monday and I, and working on my algorithm. So I'm posting at eight, two, and six. I'm gonna do that for about a week, see how you know my audience reacts to those times. And if I'm starting to notice that it's not really getting a lot of interaction or whatever, then I may adjust those times because a lot of my audience is on the East Coast. So if I'm posting at eight and it's nine their time, most people already clocked into work. So keep an eye on that stuff. All of your content matters. But if you're only posting three times a day, make sure those three times a day actually like are content. You know, you need to be giving value to your audience. Um, so that was at eight. And then at two, I am going to do a sim super simple, um, well, and it may get changed around just like today. I did not know that he was gonna come and tell me to post the steps. So here's, here's a prime example. At two, I had an idea to post like, what's your best, like dishes or laundry. 
So I'm probably going to go through with that one because that's a mindset thing too. And it's not going to get a whole lot of likes and hearts and all that, but it's going to get a lot of reaction because people love talking about themselves. They, and then that's going to help your algorithm because you're going to be able to talk back to them. You're going to be able to write their names down. There's your new RCM list because they're starting to see. You want to keep those people in your algorithm. Um, and then tonight at 6 o'clock, I had planned um, actually at 6.30 because we have a mindset zone at 6. Um, I had planned on going live about how I'm productive, but more than likely I'm going to go live about the three steps and how they help me be productive um, because Paul said to do it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm still going to go live and I'm not even going to put Thrive in the, the live like wording um, because most people, if they see Thrive, are not going to hop on your live like at all. You're not going to get any views. Um, so find something catchy. Once again, go to the trouble board. There is 40 posted. You're good. I'm not muted. Haley, you got muted. Did you mute me? I didn't either. <laughs> so don't put live, um, Thrive in your live headers because people are not going to hop on. If it clicks, look, Toby, quit laughing. Um, if it if it has Thrive in it, I can guarantee you 90% of people, unless they're you know your promoters or something, they're not going to hop on your live. So um, tonight, since it was mindset, and then we're going to talk about dishes and laundry, and then, um, and those posts may seem stupid, but I'm telling you, if you want to get your algorithm right, use them, because, and use them efficiently. Don't talk about dishes and laundry, and then your live later is about how you do your makeup. Like, be cohesive with your days. Um, tomorrow for me is Transformation Tuesday. If you don't know me, I have lost 120 pounds um, and not all my transformations are uh, physical transformations. So tomorrow, um, that'll be eight in the morning. I'll do something about probably my weight. And then um, at two, I'm going to ask, you know, what everybody's childhood movie is. And then that, at night, I'm going to go live about me and Aurora and Emerson with my children picking out a my favorite childhood movie. And then um, that'll be like, it'll all tie in together. And then, I, you know, I can talk about how I've transformed as, transformed as a mother um, just from nine months ago to now where I'm not a, I'm not a couch mom. Um, I'm literally go, 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 go all the time. So just keep your days cohesive. Um, and they're so much on Trello, but I'm going to stop rambling and let Heather because she has some good stuff. So we want to screen share and show you guys the Trello so that you know what is available to you. Uh, so hopefully this is working right. Yes, Haley, I see everything. Yeah, it's working. It was, fr it was frozen for a minute. Okay. Um, so this, these are just all the categories and then you have all of these things and this is what Haley was talking about when we have a good interaction post we come in here and drop it so that you can pull it and post it um you're absolutely welcome to take something and use it as an idea to make it your own um and we want that you know not everything needs to be cookie cutter and um so absolutely Turn this and tweak this to be you because at the end of the day, it's your business, not our, not everybody as a whole. It's not a cookie cutter thing. It's fitting it into your life and those that are in your audience. So use your life post. These are suggestions and like prompts so that it just gives you ideas. You know, it's not necessarily a copy paste in some of these categories, but it can be um, just a prompt to give you kind of. Um, a bridge to build on and go from. So, uh, sorry, we got more waiting room. 
So um, I wanted you guys to see what is available at your fingertips that um, the team continues to build. Like Haley said, we're always adding things into it, um, offering so many tools and resources. And if you're not using it, um, it's really a disadvantage because a lot of people, you know, I don't know what to start, where to start. I don't know what to post. Um, I'm, I'm just lost. I'm stuck. Okay. Well, you don't have to be because we've given you this resource and not only do you have your uplines, but you have all of these available at your fingertips, literally because there's an app you can download with it and get added to these boards. And even if you don't have phone service, as long as you've opened these when you did have phone service, you can come back and pull them without Wi-Fi or without any data um, from your provider or whatever. So say you're in the middle of the woods and somebody's asking you about Thrive, great. I can pull this up and I can you know, lead them the, down the right path or use um, some scripts that are in here to kind of guide you on talking to them. Um, so the other board is the promoter startup board. If I can get it to switch over. This is a great place to send your new promoters or yourself any day. Um, again, this is one that we are consistently building on. So this is your daily VIP schedule, suggested posts for it. So literally you come in, you say before day one, these are the things you should do. And it even has a link to the social media content board we were just looking at. Um, tells you, you know, get in touch with your upline, schedule three-way calls, and then day one literally shows them here between these time frames, make your first post. Post one should come from the Thrive Experience on the other social media board we were just looking at. So it literally walks them through setting up their um, their pioneer and everything that they need to know. And there's YouTube links to the Thrive Army for suggested videos, for trainings. Um, I mean, literally guys, these resources are at your fingertips and it is vital for your business, for yourself, for your team that you use them and go get in here and find things um, to be used to grow your own business. You know, that's, that's what we want for you guys. We want it to be available and so we don't have to answer the same questions a hundred times. Every time you get a new promoter, you come here, you know what to do. Um, and it takes stress off of everybody so that you don't, you know, say it's 12 o'clock in the middle of the night, you get a new promoter, you want to help them right now. Great. You don't have to wake your, your upline up to get that done. It's right here. It'll help you walk them through it. Um, the meeting schedules are on here. There's just so much, all of the experience links, the opportunity links, that Courtney has put so much time and energy into and money into, um, they're all available for us. So we wanna make sure you're using it. And um, I was gonna show an example. Um, in a minute, please. I'm in a minute, I'm on a meeting. So I also have a business planner that I literally came, even though I'm six months into this, I came and took the suggested VIP daily schedule and I'm just gonna repeat it for a little bit until I get into a new habit of find, like Haley said, when your times are that your audience is most interactive. Um, I'm just gonna use that as a guide and just repeat it day one. And then when I get to day 14, I'm probably gonna come back and restart. So there's your whole month um, of suggested posts that you know, I might pull straight from Trello. I might just use it, like I mentioned, as a guide, as an idea to brainstorm a new post um, or an interactive post. Hey, and wanna... yeah, so I was digging in Trello not long ago and there is a link in there that Courtney added. And I hear promoters all the time, like, I don't know what to post. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. There is literally a whole, like a download of, a whole probably six months worth of posts. I mean, literally, and it gives you, and, and there's even a um, calendar where it is a, it's called a content calendar. And then there is like lists and lists and lists of va validation posts, opportunity posts, like, I mean, everything. And there is hundreds of them. 
So there is so much there. And I'm not like, we're not trying to tell you like, oh, just copy paste because you definitely like your audience will obviously see that that's not you or whatever. But there is so much like y'all have a brain. Everybody can kind of figure out that guides are there to guide you, not tell you who to be. Um, so if there is a content calendar and it is all laid out there in front of you, and we're telling you, okay, post three times a day, figure out when your your hours are, whatever, and make sure that it's good content. Make sure you, like every time you post, before you click post, you should sit there and ask yourself, because I'm getting in the habit of this, am I offering value? Am I offering value to the people that are reading this? If not, we need to change up some wording because if people aren't getting value from it, they're not gonna continue following you. They're not going, you know, I've noticed in like, if you're not on these, what, January boot camp Zooms, you're missing out like crazy because like even Tracy's fives list, Courtney, when she was talking about confidence, like all of this plays in part. And as soon as you start just saying, okay, um, they're successful, I'm just going to take what they say and I'm going to change it to, you know, what I need to do and move on. Nothing's going to change. You're going to keep wondering why you're not getting your algorithm right. You know, if someone has a bomb algorithm and they do something and they tell you, okay, here's how you do it and you don't do it, like th at that point, that's your choice that you're not doing it. So hop on the Trello, look at, um, I highly, highly recommend getting in the habit of planning your days. I will tell you, and I'm pretty sure any other, especially 40K and up can tell you, I mean, heck, Heather's a 12K and she's got eight Zooms a day. Um, but even like being successful with this, you have to be organized because you are going to have to handle all of your, um, your business stuff. So all the zooms, um, or not all the zooms, but you guys know what I mean? Like hop on the ones when you can, um, your posts, like planning your posts out. If you have something that happens and you know, you're going to do like, a like work Wednesday for me is workout Wednesday and I want to start offering value in workouts that I do at home for my audience because there's a lot of people that can't one afford a gym membership and they're still dealing with COVID so a lot of people can't go to the gym that's offering value I already know which workouts I want to put so I'm going to go ahead and type up my post save it to my notes and at six o'clock on Wednesday I'm gonna copy paste it to my Facebook boom post it Think about what you're going to be doing, because if you are not planning that out, you are going to be like, I, I'll tell you from if before I started doing this, I would forget to post. And then I wait and I'm like, oh, crap, it's four o'clock. I was supposed to post it too, because you get caught up doing everything else. So even if you're just starting out, if you need a reminder to post, go set an alarm on your phone. Like go set an alarm. Copy and paste it from your notes, like type it out the night before if you're sitting there thinking about it and post it. Um, it really does not have to be something that you pour every waking second into um, because multitasking, I mean, every time I see multitasking, all I see is Tracy's face because <laughs> she is like the queen of multitasking. Like if she can do it, then we have no excuse, like none Absolutely. whatsoever. Um, so, and plus I'm looking at her on my screen. So um, <laughs> I just, I want you guys to realize that there are so many people that are pouring into resources that you do not have to, if you're planning on becoming a leader and you're planning on being um, more than like just a side gig, or you want to actually be a 200K one day, like, you're gonna have to get resourceful. Like you have to, there is no way about it because once you are the leader, who, who do you go to then? Because you're gonna have promoters coming to you asking you questions and then what are you gonna do? Turn around and ask your upline? No, we're gonna say, oh, let's let's go to the Trello board. Let's figure it out together. Or if you already know, then you already know. Um, and then you can start pointing them to, hey, here's a Trello board and you start duplicating. And then when you start duplicating, that's when you see growth. And trust me, I'm saying all this because I'm learning it and learning it and learning it. And I am hoping that in the next month that I find my unicorn and I start duplicating because it takes time. 
Um, it does. And so I want to, um, real quick, I don't want to go over too long, but we all have the same 24 hours on the day and we can all take 15 minutes to work your business and be intentional and put everything away except for what you want to do and focus on in those 15 minutes. So I've been in this, um, I've read it, but I'm rereading and taking notes to be able to share here, talking about consistency and efficiency, because that's the direction we want to take this Zoom. So um, a couple of things I pulled from it, and then we'll wrap up. Um, it said consistency over time can create huge results. A little bit of every day is better than trying to do massive campaigns every few months. So it talks about you can spend 48 hours just hustling and doing the same thing, but then you're exhausted. So it's a lot more efficient to do things in small chunks consistently and continue to maintain them instead of just trying to clean the whole house at once or you know whatever the, the case may be here. So obviously consistency helps you build habits and those habits then don't need your constant willpower to do them. So that really struck a chord with me because once it's just part of your routine, you just do it. When you get up in the morning, you do the same things every day. And once you develop, you know, putting these 15 minutes of your time or more, whatever you decide you're going to contribute to your business, it becomes a habit and you no longer need to convince yourself that you need to do it. Um, so, and then it talks about a mindset and um, I'm trying to hurry. So it's not so every one of our 15 minutes must be used on the most effective and efficient activities that will build your business. Effective means you're doing the most valuable activity for the moment and efficient means you're getting the results in the least amount of time. So that's really, the, like I said, the direction we want to take this Monday Zoom is efficiency and showing you guys how to stop spending your entire day doing things and then you look up and you feel like you didn't get anything done. Um, just be very intentional in the time you do give it and then um, we're going to show you ways to do that. So um, hope you guys took something away from this. And uh, we look forward to growing with the Zoom with you guys. So have a great day. And we will talk to you next Monday.